What's brappin', my fellow Nitro heads? Welcome back to the Losi 8XT build. This is Big G. And we're finally doing something to the chassis. So what we're starting with is we're going to be checking this bag out. Uh, and we're going to be putting on the side panels. Let's get cracking. Okay, I've just been installing these little nylon nuts into the rod guards here, and this is one thing I don't like. They go in way too easy, so if you have the car tipped up and you're putting them in, this is what's going to happen. All going to fall out. So I think I'd recommend putting just a little dab of super glue or CA glue or some kind of glue just to keep these in because I can see these being a pain in the future and or just assembling the kit to begin with. So that's just my thoughts on that. For frig's sakes man, as soon as I say that, I dropped one of these and lost it so I had to find a new one. So what I might recommend doing actually is uh, carefully dump these out, place these on, feed your screw through the bottom and then grab the nut and screw it on just so you don't lose them if you don't want to do the glue thing. I would do the glue thing myself, but my CA glue is not here, so what can you do? The thing to do is install this little brace here. We can now finally install the center diff setup. I don't have a servo yet. That's coming, but I think we can still install this and I can still get the servo in there while it's installed on the vehicle. So let's install it. So I've been assembling this fuel tank. Yes, I should be putting it, putting it together on camera. I know, I'm sorry. But it looks like a Kind of cool setup TLR has done here. Kind of uh, useless in my opinion, but it looks like they have a fuel overflow drain. So if you make any spills up here, it's just going to drain out through that piece of fuel tubing out the bottom of the chassis. I feel like that's going to go wrong pretty quickly. So I feel it's it'd be not a bad idea if it was an on-road car. But since this is an off-road, I can see that hole getting plugged in no time, but... Nonetheless, pretty cool idea. Also, because I have a couple left over from my my eight buggy build, is I'm gonna add these titanium tank mount screws, just because I can. Just one more thing before we install this tank into the car. You're gonna open up the slid, right? And you're gonna notice right here, there's a lower part of the tank that's where your clunk should sit. So open your lid, make sure the clunk sits in there, and you're all good. Put it in. If not, if it doesn't sit, if it goes too far that way, all you have to do is pull this line out a little bit. If it doesn't quite reach, just feed a little bit back in. But yeah, that's a fuel tank. We got the next piece to the puzzle here. We have a high tech 9360 for throttle. And this servo looks beautimous. Steering servo finally showed up for this thing today. We have the ProTech RC 170 SBL black label. This thing looks awesome. 
Let's put it in there. Since this servo doesn't have a wire on it, it's just a matter of just dropping it in there. Sweet. Alright, before I put this setup in the car, I just want to bring up something real quick. I would not recommend this 170 SBL for the low C8X because since this is a wireless cord on here, it has a very wide connector. So as you can tell here, I had to cut all this out here to fit this cord. So if you're not when that likes modifying stuff, this servo isn't for you because I had to open this up quite a bit to make it fit. But if you're one that likes to modify, then go ahead. But if you want something turnkey, I would not get this ProTech 170 SBL for the OC8 XT. Alright, I started routing stuff off camera, so let me get you guys up to speed on what's going on. So we got this TLR cover here for our wires, for our servo wires to go through there, into the receiver tray. Then I got a brand new Spectrum SR315 receiver. And we got everything plugged in, and the receiver wire running out of the receiver box. So that's about it for this video guys. I do not have a battery and I do not have a receiver switch yet. So I cannot bind everything and get it all set up. So that's going to be it for now.